It's my birthday this month, which has become quite a fraught business, really. Um, so yesterday I read, wrote a very quick poem about the day that I was born and what it meant. I'm Wednesday's child, full of worm. A cockerel, a Scorpio, on the cusp, Sagittarius, fire, sex, lust, or wise and just. The weather forecast for November's child got it right in full. Dry, fairly mild, and rather dull. <laughs> um, this is a nostalgic poem. This is about a very long time ago, looking back. Where are all the boys? Faces flicker on my internal screen. Where are all the boys I used to know? They valentinoed me in my imagination, innocent, driven, each one of a kind. Where are all the boys I used to know? Robin, Joseph, Sean, and Polly Begg. Innocent, driven, each one of a kind. More differences than similarities, it seemed. Robin, Joseph, Sean, and Polly Begg. One velvet dark, one loose as ginger string. More differences than similarities, it seemed. When I was young, each meeting seemed unique. One velvet dark, one loose as ginger string. And Paul the butcher boy, where is he now? When I was young, each meeting was unique. In love or not, then were a mystery. And Paul the butcher boy, where is he now? Red-faced, rotund, suffused with bad cholesterol. In love or not, he's had his mystery exposed by life's insistence to conform. Red-faced, rotund, suffused with bad cholesterol, I only meet such social stereotypes exposed to life's insistence to conform, boys hidden in the roles they have put on. So now I only meet with social stereotypes. I now, a lady of a certain age, with more similarities than differences exposed, it seems. Where are all the boys I used to know? <laughs> and last, a recipe. How to, oh no, it's not a recipe actually, it's, it's instructions then. How to make a dress out of silence. Take a yard of the quiet of a dawn before the birds wake. Use the sudden hush before a truth is spoken and the breathless pause in the eye of a storm to create a template for your bodies. Be sure to calculate the volume of the air held in place by the lungs alveoli so that it stretches easily across the depth and breadth of your chest. Cut out the skirt from a length of the boundless, soundless vacuum of space. Now, thread a hiatus with a sense of absence, and sew into one piece. Try on the dress. Listen. Thank you.